This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs once again. Okay, so in Selenium 4, uh, one more new feature is there that is called a rectangle feature. That is get rect method is available in a new Selenium web driver. So what do you mean by this? It means the complete dimension about a specific web element. So let's see there is a web element. This is a button or any element. I want to check a couple of things about this button, which is uh, what is the height, right? What is the height of this particular button? So height is denoted by H. What is the, uh, uh, let's see, width of this particular button? So this is, let's see, denoted by W. What is the X and Y coordinate? So on this particular browser page, where exactly this element is starting from? What is the X and Y coordinate? So let's say this guy is starting from around X and uh, okay, the horizontal and the vertical value, the position of this particular, uh, this particular element on the basis of X and Y coordinates, right? So X coordinate will be calculated where exactly on this particular surface, X surface, and what is the Y surface is available. That is at this point of time, this guy is meeting. So this is called X and Y coordinate. So it will be an integer number. Height also will be an integer number and width also will be an integer number. So this is called the positioning and the dimension or rectangle of that particular element. So how to do that? So I'll do one thing. I'll show you how exactly we used to do in Selenium 3 and how exactly they have improved in Selenium 4 so that you guys can see the clear difference between okay, Selenium 3 and Selenium 4. So I'll do one thing. This is the package. I'm going to create a new class and uh, I quickly, you can take any example. So first I'll say that get rectangle method concept and uh, oops, I forgot to select the main method, no issues. And I'll copy paste uh, how to launch the web driver and all those things. So from here, I'll just copy paste. So let's see till here. Okay. And uh, we can, you can pick any, any site. That's not an issue. So I can, that's fine. And we will write the main method also. So I just copy paste this particular main method so that everything will be inside the main method. Okay. So here we don't need to understand how to launch the browser and all those things. So let's see, this is a site I'll pick uh, app.hubspot.com and uh, I create the web element for one button is there. This is a login button, right? I want to check that what exactly this login button, the height, width and everything. So uh, this is the ID. I'll take this ID. And first I'll tell you in Selenium 3 what we used to do. So first I'll create the web element. Let's see web element login button is equal to driver dot find element by dot ID and ID is this. <clears throat> okay. And now first we will show you, I'll show you in Selenium 3. We will see in Selenium 3 what we used to do. And if you remember in Selenium 3, we were having this uh, dimension math methods were available. That is get size and get location method is there. So the moment you create uh, the web element in Selenium, what we used to do in Selenium 3, that login button uh, dot one method is there dot get size method is there. Okay. So this get size method, you just uh, use it. And this get size method will give you one class reference that is called dimension reference. So can I store inside the dimension, right? Because it is giving you the dimension and I'll say that, okay, this is the login button dimension. So I'll say login button dim is equal to something like this. Okay. And this uh, dimension you have to import. Uh, let me check what the exact spelling, get size, dimension. Okay, I have to remove T, sorry, my mistake. Yeah, and then you just need to import. And import, you have to import from guys from Selenium, not from Java, W, A, W, T or something. And once this is done, login button, then you will get, and after that, you can apply a couple of methods on it. Let's see, I want to print system dot auto print and then uh, login button dimension, dim dot uh, get height method is there and get width method is also there. So get height and get 
width method is also there. So it will give you what is the height and width of that particular element. And if you really want to take the x and y coordinate, earlier we were having this point class. So this simple use get point method is there. Okay, uh, dot get one second. We just create the web element and dot uh, login button dot what you need to do because I'm using Selenium 4, that's why it's not coming. Otherwise, you have to use one method was there, get location method is there. Okay, so but get location method, which will give you the point class method, a point class reference from where you can get the X and Y coordinate. So right now we are not getting because I'm using Selenium 3. Okay, I'm using Selenium 4 and Selenium 4, I think they have removed this get location method. So, okay, so I'm not covering the get location method that you can check it in Selenium act when you have a Selenium 3 dependency in your framework, okay, in your project that you can use it. But this is a method in Selenium 3, get height and get width to get the height and width. And if you run it, you will see that uh, it will launch the browser. And once the login page is displayed, it will capture the height and width 40 and 425 like this. So this is the height and this is the 425 is the width of that particular element. So height and width we got, that's not an issue. But how exactly now you will do it in Selenium 4? That is the major focus. How will you do it in Selenium 4? X and Y coordinate and height and width. In Selenium 4, what exactly you have to do, guys? This is the login button dim. One method they have given, simple method, get, um, uh, okay, just a second. Sorry, apply on this login button, okay? In fact, I was applying earlier also in Selenium 3. I was applying for uh, on login button dim. So, okay, no issue, no issues. So, simple use get rec method. So, login button dot get rec method, it will give you one rectangle, okay? Reference. So, I'll store inside the rectangle. Rectangle, and uh, let's see, this is a login button. And rectangle is equal to this, okay? No spelling mistake, please. And this rectangle you need to import from Selenium. And here we will see that how will you get the height and width. So system dot auto print and then uh, login button rec dot get height method is there. And then you can use dot get width method is also there. So it will give you get height and width exactly. So in Selenium 3, we were using this particular concept get size concept but here we will be using get rec method so let's run it again okay so once this is done you can see exactly 440 425 in selenium 3 and in selenium 4 also 40 425 i mean this method is available in selenium 3 it's available in selenium 4 also get size method now let's see how exactly you will get the X and Y coordinate with the help of point class. So this element is there and you simple apply dot get location method is there now. Get location method. Earlier I was applying on this particular dimension reference, sorry if I mistake, but login button dot get location method, which will return a point class reference. Can you see that? And then I'll store inside the point P1 is equal to like this or let's see p equal to this point class reference and you just need to import this particular point p and here you can simple write system dot out print ln you simple print the x and y coordinate so this is you will get it like this p dot get x and p dot y right so this is how we get the X and Y coordinate, okay, in Selenium 3 methods. Now, those methods are still available in Selenium 4, but how exactly you will do it exactly in Selenium 4? So, with the same thing, get login button rect angle that reference that you get it. You simple write system dot out print and then dot, okay, get X and get Y. So, you don't need to create any point class reference and all those things. So, simple you will write get Y and that's it. So the concept here is that is uh, earlier we were having the combination of get size that you have to use. And from the get size, you will get the get height and get width. And then you have to use get location method, which will return a point class reference. And then you have to get get X and get Y. Now what exactly they have done? 
Uh, now they have uh, introduced this get rec <coughs> method and uh, it will give you a one uh, element rectangle and with the same element rectangle you can get the height you can get the width you can get the x and y coordinate everything you can get it okay from the same reference you don't need to use any point class or get size method separately so this is a okay, new method they have introduced so now you run it and then uh, let's see are we getting the correct output or not and you can apply on any element, either it is image or button or link or whatever. You can apply on the same, any element. Now you can see exactly almost we are getting 40, 425, 387. Okay, 40, 425, 387, 433. Exactly same thing we are getting. This is from the previous methods, get size and get location. And these are the get rec methods, right? Okay. And one more thing I just want to tell you that how exactly internally Selenium is working for these methods, how to get the get rec method and all those things. Selenium is actually internally calling one JavaScript method that is called, I'll show you. You just go to console that is called get bounding client rec method, which is coming in, which is coming from JavaScript. So inside the DOM, I just go to console, you simple write uh, document dot okay, get element by ID get element by ID and whatever the ID is there the ID is login button okay button and dot one method is there get bound okay bounding client client rectangle Okay, you just call this particular method once. Okay, get bounding client rect. Yeah, and then you run it. And here you will see the x and y coordinate and height and width. You can see that height we are getting around 39.60, around 40, and width is around 425. And here we are getting the exact same thing. Uh, height is 40 and 425, right? 39.6 is equal to around 40. So 40 and 425, the height wise and width wise is correct, but the X and Y coordinate here in this particular method, we are getting around X coordinate around 551 and 329, but here we are getting around X coordinate is around 387 and 433. So might be possible that whatever, uh, it's not opening in my, uh, you know, maximize mode or full screen mode, but here I'm checking inside in a full screen mode maybe that's because of that x and y coordinates are getting okay not coming okay as compared to whatever we are getting in the console over there right so here in this particular eclipse console we are getting around 387 433 but here it is around 551 and 329 so we'll do one thing let me maximize this particular window and then we will see it is what kind of uh, okay so uh, driver dot manage dot window dot let's see full screen will start and in full screen I will try to capture the x and y coordinate and then we will see so here this is the full screen now earlier it was a compact screen now in the full screen mode uh, what is the coordinate we are getting? So now it's 425. This is the height and width. That is correct. Now we are getting 625, 433. Let's compare with, say still, 625 I'm getting over there. 627 by 433. But here it's giving X and Y. Still it's not giving the correct one. So maybe this is the max. Uh, this is a 100% uh, zoom level. <clears throat> and if you hit this particular method over here again, now we are getting 627. And this is also 100% zoom level. This is also 100% zoom level. In the same screen, I'm getting 627, 433 over here. So 627 is fine, but it's still 332 it's giving. So it's still, um, it's not giving the right output. Right, guys? So maybe that's a bug in the I mean, in their, in their code. Or I don't know how exactly this 433 is coming because if you hit the same method to get the height and width that get bounding client rectangle method, so Selenium is actually calling this particular method. 
Selenium is creating the web element on the basis of document.get element by ID and then hitting this particular method. So height, width, and X coordinate we are getting correctly, but the Y coordinate is, is still not correct. So whatever the reason, I don't know, but uh, still it's in, uh, you know, Selenium 4 is an alpha board. Maybe we can provide this feedback to Simon and Steward and then maybe they can correct it. Or maybe you guys also try in your system in your laptop and just let me know in the comment section if you are facing the exact problem or are you getting the exact X and Y coordinate in your system also. Okay. So yeah, that's all. I want to really wanted to cover this particular topic because this is about Selenium 3 and this is a Selenium 4. Please be ready to use this particular method. This is, I mean, really good. It's very simple, very straightforward method. Okay. So thanks for watching this particular video, guys. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.